Hi, this is Steve with VFDs.com. Today I'm going to show you the basic wiring of a VFD. Since you're dealing with electricity, I highly recommend that you hire an electrician to do it for you. However, if you choose to do it yourself, make sure that you turn the power off when you're doing the wiring and use your proper safety equipment when you turn the power on. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is check the full load amps on the motor to make sure that the VFD you bought was rate, is rated for that amount of amps. Also, use the correct wire gauge for that amount of amps as well. All right, let's get started. The VFD we're gonna be wiring up today is the D700 series. This is the three-phase model. This is the single-phase model. The one I'm gonna be demonstrating is the single-phase model, uh, which is single-phase input, three-phase output. That's one of the great benefits of VFDs is that you can actually uh, run a three-phase motor with single phase power through the VFD. I've also pre-wired up, as you can see, um, the three phase power in and out of the three phase model, um, but I'll show you that later. Okay, so the first thing you're obviously gonna wanna do is locate the terminals that you're gonna be tying your wires to. Now the terminals here are L1 and L2, or R and S, for your power coming in, and UVW for your power going out, or the power going to the motor. So you run your wire from your circuit breaker to the VFD. The ground wire is generally always green. And your two hot wires powering the VFD, generally they're black and red. Black generally ties under the R or the L1. Red goes under the S or the L2. I like to crimp these ends on, but you don't always have to use those. You can actually just use bare wire, and I'll show you that here in a second. Now, like I said earlier, UVW, that is the that is are the terminals that you use going to the motor. You're also going to pull a ground wire so you can bond the motor as well. Your black lands under U. Your red, which I'm going to show you how you can just strip. Usually I like to give the wire a twist. This has a little plate under the screw, which you can just, oh, let's loosen that up. You can just bury, just like so. Your blue is going to land under W. And that's how you wire up the single phase to three phase. Now let me real quickly show you what the three phase to three phase looks like. As you can see, the only difference is from your panel, you've got a third wire coming off of a three pole breaker and that's tied under the, T, the L3 or the T terminal. So you've got your three phase in, three phase out, single phase in, single phase out. All right, so after you've wired it up, go ahead and put your covers on. Now make sure you wear your personal protective gear or your PPE and you're ready to power it up. After you turn the power on, your keypad will light up. Now you are ready for programming. To learn how to program your VFD, check out our video on our channel. Now that's the basic wiring of a VFD. If you have any questions, you can comment below. Subscribe to our channel for more educational videos and check us out at VFDs.com.